that deal's for you. So, hop on your horse cars and make your way down to Big Bob's Used Cars. We've got horses, we've got mules, we've even got pony carts. You name it, we've got it. All you have to do is sign on the dotted line and drive away in one of these new or extremely used vehicles. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you a little story here in a minute, but I want you to think about a new and previously owned ox cart. You have enough room to haul your whole family plus a couple of dead animals. <laughs> um, excuse me. Hey, I'm just trying to generate a little business here. But you're supposed to tell a tale. Look, partner, things ain't been so good lately at the car dealership. First off, you're the partner, not me. Second, cars haven't been invented yet. And third, if you don't tell your tale, I'm going to send a wife of bath out here to get you started. In my illustrious vocation, I'm sometimes called upon to act in ways that may be less than honest. And I do, in fact, on occasions, separate people from their money. But I have concluded that money is the root of all evil. There, you happy now? Oh, I am thrilled. <laughs> my tale is titled The Three Thieves, and it concerns three youths who have less than stellar reputations. So, what did you see up in the poor old widow? Her last sin! How cruel is that? <laughs> Not bad. What did you steal from the poor old widow? I got his last set and his last of a mean. <laughs> what did you steal from the orphans? I took all the money people left in the orphans in the charity box of the church. Am I a great thief or what? <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good? It's fantastic. I am the master thief. There's nothing I won't take from nobody. Excuse me, your sentence has too many negatives. What are you talking about? You mean to say there isn't anything you wouldn't take from anyone. Or there's nothing you wouldn't take from anyone. Although that really isn't proper. You want to pipe down now? Or after I break your nose? <laughs> now would be great. I'm the best thief that ever lived. <clears throat> what about us? You're okay, but I'm the best. I can cheat anybody. Widows, orphans, priests, insurance companies. I'm the best, I tell you. I could even cheat, hmm, death itself. Ooh, now there's an idea. Actually, I don't believe that's possible. But it's worth a try! <laughs> We could all three cheat death itself, and we'd be famous. And maybe Jimmy Fallon would interview us. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's cheat death itself. We could be like the three musketeers, only not as honest. How does one actually find death itself in order, you know, cheat it? Hmm. Try the yellow pages. <laughs>
supposed to be hard to treat. How will we know it's treat? They all pretty much look alike. You will know. So, how about that lottery ticket? No, thank you. I don't see anything around here that looks like a tree. Do you guys? No. Ooh, what about that desk? There's no way a tree could look like a desk. Well, the desk was a tree at one time before it became a desk. But never kind. That's kind of stretching things a bit. Well, do you see any real trees? No. Okay then, let's go look under the desk. That's not death itself. <coughs> it's a bag of gold! Wow, there's a lot of money here. Wow! Wait a second. You are planning on dividing it evenly between us, right? Of course. <laughs> Say, this calls for a little celebration. Why doesn't one of us run into the village and pick up some food and drinks? We'll have a little party. Out here in the woods where there isn't any trees? That's a great idea. <laughs> Why don't you run to the village and grab us a bottle of meat and a bag of Doritos? Why don't you? Someone has to stay here and guard our gold. That someone should be me. Let's send her. Good idea. Run to the village and pick up a bottle of meat and a bag of Doritos. Why me? We took a poll. And you won. Well, okay. But you guys went think about taking my share of the gold, would you? What do you think we are? Thieves? Yes. <laughs> we'll guard your share of the gold. And when you get back, we'll have a party to celebrate our good fortune and our bad nature. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Boy, is she ever dumb. What do you mean? What I mean is, when she gets back, we're going to kill her. Why didn't we just kill her before she left? I want some Doritos. I need oh. a bottle of meat and a bag of Doritos. Lucky you. You don't have very good attitude. It's the Middle Ages, and I'm a clerk <laughs> in a convenience store. What do you expect? A little assistance. How inconsiderate of me. Isn't it a lovely day? How may I assist you? I need a bottle of meat and a bag of Doritos. Oh. Your luck. That's about all we have in store. That'll be two gold points. <laughs> I'm a thief. I'm a thief. Why am I not surprised? Ooh, what's that? Deadly poison. Is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. It's deadly poison. Duh. <laughs> Did my fellow thieves drink this? Did I get out all the gold to myself? I'll take the deadly poison. That'll be two gold coins. Well, that would be two gold coins if you weren't stealing it. I like to keep my job. <laughs> when she gets back, you stab her with your dagger. Uh, I don't have a dagger. <clears throat> well, then you run her through with your sword. I don't have a sword. Well, how do you plan on killing her? I was planning on you killing her. It was my idea, so you do the killing. I'd rather not. Well. I don't have anything to kill her with. Neither do I. You can hit her over the head with a meat bottle. What if it's one of those plastic recyclable bottles? <laughs> Here, I've got something. Kill her with this. A spork? <laughs> you want me to kill her with a plastic spork? We're talking a lot of gold here. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I got some party goodies. Before we start our little celebration, our friend here has something she'd like to show you. Ha! A sport. <laughs> You're killing me with a plastic sport? <laughs> Sorry, we didn't have a dagger. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. Here, let's drink a little mead before we divide up our gold. I don't like mead. Come on, live a little. Or die a little. Oh! <laughs>
I'm not dead yet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the moral of this tale is this. You can't cheat death itself. And you shouldn't steal stuff. So, if you need a brand new used car, come see the partner. We have a huge selection of new and slightly anxious.